This is the key to your future. Hello, the Jando enables leadership with Polynesian young people to address issues related to their own mental health that they care about in our community. We've got three sub-campaigns represented here today within Handle the Jandal. We've got a campaign that's focused on changing depression, a campaign that's focused on changing um, failure rates in tertiary education for Polynesian students, um, and also a campaign that's focused on improving Polynesian youth and parent relationships. <laughs> The people that are at our training today, these are youth that are tertiary students, youth that are high school students, youth that are basically engaged in their communities and want to make a difference, want to make a change. And so these youth are leaders that have potential and we're just trying to tap into their potential by teaching them the community organizing methodology um, so that they can feel empowered and just go out there and make these changes through social movements. It involves you know, teaching Pacific youth not only about organizing and um, how to mobilize the community but also about the importance of leadership and how to build uh, themselves into good leaders. I'm just really proud I guess of our team that we could actually lead our own training like no one else is doing it, not Jake from America, us just handle gender. We know why we're here, we know why we care about our Pacific youth passing in tertiary, we know why we care about Pacific parents and, and um, students coming together and having conversations, meaningful conversations. We know why we want to um, change depression for high school students. Today we're going to talk about how do we actually do that? How do we take what we care about as a collective and as a group, as sub-campaigns and also as Handle the Jandal and make a change in the world? How do we strategize? Our strategic goal right now is to connect with 100 to 200 youths in a community of South Auckland from ages 13 to 25. And from there, we're going to teach them about some proactive engagement and to further promote the awareness of bullying in our community because it's an underlying issue. People don't see it, but we all know that it's there. Personally, I believe that um, Reach Out is the hardest campaign because it not only involves youth and dealing with their issues, but you also have to involve parents who may not be willing to participate in connecting the bond. Having been at university for four years already, um, I would love to take on a mentoring role for new students coming in. Um, I think especially what I can give is just that experience um, on how to succeed at university, um, how to really utilise those specific resources that we have, like the admission schemes. More than 20 months ago, there was only five of us. We built to a team of 12. We now have close to 30 young leaders in our team. We've had two people teach community organizing today um, over the last two days, and they were leaders who started with me when it was just five of us. Um, so that's been really exciting to see. All of the table coaches here today are leaders in our campaign. Um, there's about 24, 28 of us here today, and just seeing them like coach their friends, coach their peers through how to think about change in different ways, how to tell our stories so that we can um, build our constituency is really exciting to see. We are bringing together the final piece of your public narrative. Our stories help enable other people. Mental health is such a big prominent issue within our uh, Polynesian community but there's such a negative energy that surrounds it and it's very taboo within the community. I got involved um, through the campaign just by inquiring on one of their posts. Uh, they were advertising campaign on Facebook. My intention is I want to try and increase awareness. There's a saying in our campaign, um, if you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, then go together. It's the relationships, it's that rapport and that trust between one another. This hundred that's in this room at the moment, we definitely can make a difference. To be successful, one has to retain their culture as well as um, do well in the New Zealand education system. Um, and yeah, that's the main reason I'm in it. I guess I want more youth seeing the hope. I just want us to be the the big brothers and sisters. What I love to see is that PI youth are more comfortable with who they are, to be loud and proud for who they are.
these youth, the skills that they're learning, um, the life skills that they can take into any arena in their lives, any area of their lives. I really believe we've got future Prime Ministers, future um, lawyers, leaders of tomorrow, and I, I hope that what they're learning today, what they're learning in their time with Handle the Jandal, will help to shape up society for tomorrow.